This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by Domain.com. Hello and welcome to Hack 5. My name is Darren Kitchen. I'm Shannon Morse. Hey, it's your weekly dose of techno lust. You're eating a popsicle. It's formal Friday and yet I'm having a Friday. So it's casual Friday. It's casual Friday where you wear a tie. Right, of course. Yeah. Well, you just came back from Tech News Today, right? You know what? You're right. Tech News Today. If you guys aren't familiar on the uh, Twit Network, uh, I do TNT with Tom Merritt and Sarah Lane and Ayaz and, uh, and uh, yeah, Jason I love that Howell. Show. Uh, every Friday, and they just moved the time, so mm -hmm. it's now in the morning. That works out really well, because you get back here during the day, and then I can bug you the entire rest of the time. Yes. <laughs> and so uh, we normally shoot, then this is kind of like inside Hack 5, but we normally shoot like on a Wednesday, but there was some thing going on on, on July the uh, the 4th, I think it was. Oh, yeah, yeah, the thing, I don't know, there were explosions. There was explosions. Yeah, it was, weird. It, was, it was crazy. Yeah, all our Canadian viewers too are like, what are you talking about? Yeah, like, what the heck's going on? <laughs> it's so weird. I wonder if, like, some of the border towns, uh, like, on the US Canadian border, if there's any Canadians that don't know about it, they're like, oh nah. my God, the United States is exploding! <laughs> <laughs> That'd be kind of hilarious, though. Yeah, so uh, I just got back from TNT, and uh, normally we don't shoot on Friday, but everything got a little delayed because it took a little bit to get a gift from a fan in, didn't we, huh? Yeah, we okay. got a really cool gift this week. We got these um, these Samsung Galaxy S3s. Oh, yeah. Aww. I'm actually really stoked about this because T-Mobile has thrown down the challenge, and I'm willing to accept. What is this challenge? Well, okay, so get up, this. Sir. This this is the uh, the Samsung Galaxy S3. The thing is hella fast. It's really light. Super light, yeah. And uh, 4.8 inch screen, HD camera. It's got the share shot. It's got the sh the the all share. It's Ooh. it's got all those freaking sweet Samsung features and the Android and on T-Mobile. And they've challenged us to shoot an entire episode with these. <gasps> Seriously? So we we've got a couple of them and. Awesome. Uh, and I'm really stoked because you know I've done this. Yes. Like if you go back a couple of seasons, yeah, you'll see you that did. I used to like used to put like in my motorcycle helmet a little phone mm -hmm. or or like. Didn't you do things. this during the Hack Across America thing? You used your uh, telephone for it. Yeah, I actually the the whole Hack Across America thing. I was like doing this with my uh, motorcycle like, back in shots. the day. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> it was what now, Paul? South by episode. Oh, you're right. I shot the entire South by Southwest episode. On um, on another Samsung phone, so I'm really stoked because they're like, yeah. well, what what could you guys do if you had four Samsung Galaxy S3s? And what I'm are like, we doing? Ooh, well, you guys may have noticed that this guy has been chilling behind us for the last two weeks or so on the oh, set. Oh, just the oblivient, <laughs> large, strange antenna behind you. That's just kind yeah. of it. Might be standing out a little bit. Might be. It's it's <laughs> it's pretty inconspicuous. That's the thing that I love about a Wi-Fi pineapple connected to a parabolic antenna. <laughs> Blends right in. Right, of course, yeah. with all the greenery. <laughs> I guess you could paint it green. Um, <laughs> so the idea was we're doing some pretty cool custom stuff with this guy here real soon, but we really need to test out the tech, and I figured what better way than go on a Hack 5 road trip, take these guys out, shoot the episode where they go to the top of Mount Tam, and this is pretty cool too because I want to really see, like, compared to these HD ridiculous cameras that we use here in studio, how these things are going to fare, and it's going to be nice to just kind of like Take a break from the whiteboard for just a cool. moment. Cool. Okay. There's still going to be some SSH, just a little bit, but, but yeah. All right, yeah. I'm excited. Okay, so you've got yours. Paul's yep, got one. I got mine. You know what? You know what'd be fun to do before we get out of here? Let's what? actually show them. Let's show them these ridiculous cameras in the hack shop and the office and That's stuff. We never an really awesome do idea. that. That's an idea. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Beep. Pac-Man. Yeah. All right, cool. Like over here in the studio, we have the Mr. Polly Paul on the jib. And this is the ridiculous cameras that we don't like to disconnect because there's a lot of hardware involved. And, uh, oh look, there's Shannon in the monitor. There's me. Hey. And so this is kind of fun because uh, this is a Cobra Crane. And that makes Paul... Did you say Cobra Commander? Yeah, that makes Paul the Cobra Commander. What's up, nice. Shannon? We put stickers on the back of them so we can figure out which one's which. Yeah, <laughs> we did. We went there. And I've got a oh, that's cool a pretty stabilization rig going on. Nice. We could hook some but lights and mics and everything. Stabilization, if you want to do that as well. But yeah, yeah I think lights like... and mic packs and all that stuff. <laughs> we should take these to uh, CES and then we'd be able to like record and then publish immediately because they have 4G. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And so this is the hack shop. 
this is my side of the world. And then we still have our awesome Hack 5 poster. Of course! Yes. That one of our wonderful fans made us. And you can see that I'm, I'm working on uh, building up these pelican cases and getting them ready for the conventions. The pelican thing is massive and insane. Yeah. I, I, I kind of love like pelican for so many reasons. And that's, oh that's like the best one. I, I think the lawyers downstairs are going to yell at you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was fun. Um, oh, and we've got the book coming that you're like marking oh, all yes. up and stuff. Yeah, I'm a grammar Nazi, so I'm going through there and making sure there's no problems and making sure that it sounds right and there's no spelling errors. You know, That's gonna be fun. Cool. Well, what do you guys say? Let's let's head down to the mountain. Oh, we can show them where, where we shoot. Yeah. We're trying to blend in, so it's H-A-K-5 and Associates. Uh, even though you look right inside and it's obvious that it's a studio. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Adjust. There we go. is this wonderful sign that says beer. Uh, yeah. You can tap to focus. Are you? Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. You can take pictures. That's what that right button, oh, that wow. button up in the upper right is. That's awesome. So while you're recording. You like my dance routine? It's a great dance routine. I think, I think the cop that's parking right now looked over and thought I was kind of awkward. No, no. That's okay. He's gonna, he's gonna arrest you for awkward dancing. Well, dancing in public. <laughs> oh, hang on. You know what? I just realized. Hey, you know what? I think we should go to the mountain. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Okay. Let's do it. All right. Let's go. With all your trash. Alright, we are off like a herd of turtles. So yeah. Back to get turtles. Let me just try to do this without hitting this cop car. Alright, I'm recording. Yeah. Alright, so we're getting out of cute little Point Richmond, which is a. Uh, it's in the East Bay, and I guess you would kind of call it an end of the line town. Yeah. That, uh, this is the end of the Santa Fe Railroad. In fact, on your left, as we get on the on ramp, you should. Wait, is it officially like the actual end of the railroad? Oh yeah, if so if you're taking the Santa Fe uh, from the East Coast and you just keep going west, it's gonna leave you right here. Really? Yeah. Wow. It's pretty cool. I didn't know that. So Paul, how are you doing back there? Got your I'm gonna call that your your mobile gun. Your phone gun. Your phone gun. And so when I run, you know what? It's I don't a triple drop barrel. It. <laughs> it's, it's not a double barrel, it's, it's an S3. Do a barrel roll! <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know Chrome will do a barrel roll. There's a uh, shark for it. Really? And oh, that's, there, that's right, there is! Can you see the, can you see the ships? Does it show up at all? Yes. It does show up. Yeah. And then we're right by the Chevron plant, so all these layer tankers kind of just hang out here and fill up. Guide. Yay! We're gonna jump cut this thing. This is great because Darren reads all like the Wikipedia articles about this area and he oh, actually dude, goes I outside. Love, I love the history of this stuff. So it turns out like right over here on this point there is this castle and it literally is like a castle. It's from uh, the late 1800s and it was originally made for this winery and at the time uh, this area this was the largest uh, wine export in the United States and clipper ships would 
leave like six a day from this winery here. And so what happened though was in during Prohibition they shut it down and it never really got back going after uh, what is it the 14th Amendment, the 13th Amendment. Yeah. Anyway, the uh, the one they had abolished um, that, that fixed the whole like not drinking thing. And so at that point the. Uh, the United States commandeered it and then used it during World War II as a fuel depot. And in the 80s, like way after World War II, they didn't need it anymore, so they decommissioned it and now private security uh, basically patrols it because it's, I can't imagine what a former castle, or a castle that's formerly a fuel depot, I mean that just, that spells toxic like right all over it. But, um, it's pretty wicked because if you look at it in Google Video or Google Earth, um, and check out the satellite photos. That's how I found it. Because I was like, hey, look at this little neighborhood. I was like looking for real estate and stuff. And I'm like, hey, that's a weird neighborhood. There's no cars parked anyway. <laughs> Derelict, like creepy. And so you go down there and it's, it's pretty spooky, but it's a lot of fun. That's awesome. I got to check that out sometime. There's our destination today. Mount Tam. Oh, really? Yep. We're going to, I can't climb that. No, 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 no. We're going to drive to it. And then there's just like this little climb. It's not gonna work out so well. I think I should have worn tennis shoes. <laughs> If you're setting up a website or starting a new business, showcasing your portfolio or publishing your blog, Domain.com is the best place to go for your next great idea. If you need to register a new domain, consider getting a .com. A .com name is the original. We all know it's the best. It's globally understood and immediately gives credibility to your website no matter what name you choose. Plus, if you want to invest in and sell domains, .coms have the highest aftermarket value. Find new domains at Domain.com. Shannon and I love Domain.com because they're affordable, reliable, and easy to use. Plus, Domain.com's social networking presence is huge on Twitter, at Domain.com. They've got great customer support, and it makes it really a fun place to do business. So get this, the guys over at Domain.com want to hook up our fans with an awesome offer. Get 15% off their already affordable domain names and web hosting when you use the coupon code HAK5 at Domain.com checkout. That's 15% off and big savings. Don't forget to use the coupon code HAK5 when you think domain names, think Domain.com.